Namaste! Welcome to the wonderful world of Ayurveda, Yoga and Jyotish with Chago Namaste. Enjoy! Again, the name of the book is The Yoga of the Planets. The author is Andrew Foss. Okay? So, uh, why the, the number 108 is so important in Vedic culture? There are several explanations for that, okay? We are going to see the Jyotish one. Why we divide 360 degrees in 108 pieces, okay? And these pieces, you are going to see the name Padas, and you are also going to see the name Navamshas. Padas means one-fourth, Navamshas means one ninth, okay? So, one ninth, thanks. So, uh, during one month, one solar month, we have 30 days, more or less. And this times 12 implies 360 degrees, more or less, 360 days, 365 days, okay? So, in each Rashi, in each sign, we are going to divide these 30 degrees in 9 parts. And this is going to be called Navamsha, a ninth, ninth part. Okay? But the important thing is to understand that 90, uh, 30 degrees divided by 9 will apply in 3 degrees 20 minutes. Okay? We are going to multiply 3 degrees times 9 is going to give 27 degrees. And 20 minutes times 9 is going to be 60. 3 times 20 is 60. Times 3 is going to be 3 degrees. So 3 degrees 20 minutes times 9 is equal to 30 degrees in arc. Okay? This is an avamsha. Okay? It spans... 3 degrees and, nine and 20 minutes. Okay? This is 1 Rashi divided by 9. It equals 3 degrees uh, 20 minutes. And this is equal 1 Nakshatra divided by 4. 1 Nakshatra is a lunar sign. And it spans 13 degrees 20 minutes in average. It's the uh, space that the moon goes in one day. So the Rashi is the space that the sun goes in 30 days, more or less. One nakshatra is the space where the moon goes in one day. And this is a natural phenomenon. And this spans in average 13 degrees times 20. It changes. It can range from 15 degrees to up to 11, 12. But the average is like that, okay? This is a solar and uh, lunar mansion, and this is a nakshatra. And a nakshatra divided by four parts. A part of dharma, a part of artha, a part of kama, a part of moksha, the four purusharthas. It's going to make three degrees, 20 minutes again. Okay? So, this... 3 degrees 20 minutes is the um, arc that we can relate at the same time to the moon. That is our um, sensorial, emotional mind, our manas. And to the sun, that is our soul, our atma. Okay? So, third, 3 degrees time, 20 minutes is one ninth of the solar period and it's one fourth of the lunar period okay in 360 degrees we have 108 navamshas or padas or pieces slices as I like to call nowadays pizza slices <laughs> it can be a vegan pizza cake doesn't matter okay the point is that this is the joining arc of the sun 
the natural arc of the sun and the natural arc of the moon. The only way that we can split this and have a perfect arc that is similar to both of them is this piece, 3 degrees 20 minutes. Okay? And the moon gives us how our mind behaves. So we have 27 nakshatras. There are 27 nakshatras times 3, 13 degrees 20 minutes. It implies 360 degrees. Okay? 27 nakshatras times 4. Which it will imply the 108 combinations that our mind can get stuck in material life. There is no more, there is no less. Okay? So that's why, from a Jyotish point of view, the number 108 is so important. Because it's the place where your mind can get stuck. It's not your soul, it's your mind. Okay? And for each one of these, we are going to have one specific mantra. That's where this book comes to the scene again. Okay? This book has 108 mantras for the sun, Surya. 108 mantras for Chandra, Moon. 108 mantras for Kuja, Mars. 108 mantras for Buddha, Mercury. 108 mantras for Jupiter, Guru. 108 mantras for Venus, Shukra. 108 mantras for Shani, Saturn. 108 mantras for Rahu. And 108 mantras for Kit. Okay? But he also explains how we are going to use each one of these mantras. The one is very simple, the other one is not so simple. <laughs> then uh, the first method, uh, it's starting from sidereal Aries. And the first part of Aries is going to be Mantra 1. It goes nine parts in Aries, and the last part of Aries is going to be in Mantra 9. The first part of Taurus, sidereal Taurus, is going to be 10. And it goes up to number 18. Okay? So, three de 0 degrees to, 20, to three, de 3 degrees 20 minutes in Taurus is going to be slice 10. 3 degrees 20 up to 6 degrees 40 is going to be slice 11. And so on. We are going to always have this slice the size of 3 degrees 20 minutes arc. Okay? So, the first slice in Aries is going to be 1. The first slice in Taurus is going to be 10. The first slice in Gemini is going to be 19. The first slice in Cancer is going to be 28. The first slice in Leo is going to be 37. It's always like this. Nine times 9 something plus 1. Okay? So, the first slice in um, Pisces is going to be 9 times 11, okay, plus 1. This means uh, 9 times 11, this is 99, plus 1, it's 100, okay. So it's going to be 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108. We have nine slices there. Okay? So we're going to have a disc. And each point of the zodiac is going to have one mantra. For instance, if you want to have your sun mantra, suppose that your sun is in Virgo. You're going to go to that place. And they're going to find which part, which nymph is there. And they're going to find the number of the sun. You're going to open this book. And they're going to find one number that it ranges from. 6 times 9 is 54. So it's going to be from 55 
up to 63. It's going to be somewhere this, and they're going to go to this book. And they'll find this specific mantra there. And they're going to chant this every day, and they're going to meditate on the meaning of this and this kind of stuff. Okay? So this is some point of view. It starts from Aries. Okay? But this same mantra is not going to uh, be so perfect for yourself. Even if the, the, a lot of people were born in the same day that you were born. A lot of people were born one day, two, uh, one day before or one day after. This 3 degrees 20 means that the sun is going to have 3 days there in that. So there is a lot of people with the same mantra. So how we are going to make this general mantra a particular mantra? We are going to start from your ascendant. And this we are going to do together. I'm just explaining for people to understand general view of it. Okay? From your ascendant, if your ascendant starts in Capricorn, if your ascendant starts in whatever, that point in that slice is going to be 1. Okay? So let's suppose that you're born with your ascendant in 14 degrees Capricorn. Okay? This is not going to be 0 in your chart. This is going to be the place where it starts an adventure. So in Capricorn we have something. Every sign is 0 to 320, 320 to 640, 640 to 10, 10 to 13, 20, and then we are here, 13, 20 to 16, 40. So this is the fifth part of Capricorn. Okay? This fifth part is going to count as 1 for you. It doesn't matter if it was 13 degrees, uh, 40, if it was 14 degrees, it's still, it was 15. You see the point? You are not taking the point itself, we are taking the slice. Okay? And from this slice, we are going to count again to the point where we want to go. If it was the sun, we can go to the sun. And we are going to have two different mantras, usually, except when the ascendant of the person is from 0 to 3 degrees 20 of Aries. So they two start together. Okay? And this personal mantra, it's very good when you're changing Dasha. And you are going to a new Mahadasha, and the energy is not very clear. And you can change the two mantras. The mantra that is going to be relating to a more divine perspective, celestial perspective. And the mantra that is relating to your terrestrial perspective. Okay? Because your ascendant gives the place in the time where you are born. Because everyone that was born in the same minute that you were born, the same second, can have different uh, uh, ascendant, because the ascendant is going to point out where you were born. And the place and the location you were born in time, it gives two coordination. One coordination is time, that uh, the spiritual view is going to bring you, the celestial view. The celestial view is only bringing the time perspective. Not that this is not important, but it's one part of it. And uh, it's g giving you just like the hour uh, in the clock. Okay? But it's not giving the minutes, let's say like this. Okay? If uh, the person say it's 5, you can be from 5 0 to 5 59, but there are a lot of times that can be there. So the a terrestrial one will specify much better which is the order the minute one so it's going to say it's 529 is not 557 you see so there is a difference there and the ascendant is going to give you that direction and that's what we are going to do right now right hooray <laughs> om gam ganapataye namaha Shara Namga Nesha